my beloved love. We also have attachment and the garden and the gate, and also caring connections. A lot of really powerful cards coming out in this progression here. So I feel this reading will not be for everyone, as I always say, only take it if it resonates with you personally. Just in this one reading, I have already seen the numbers 111 and 222. So, for the person listening, and you may actually be seeing repeated numbers, this could actually be one sign from your guides that you are very much in alignment at this time, in spite of some of this heavier energy that might be coming up, some of this anxiety that someone here might be feeling. I will say I do feel that for whoever I'm speaking to, this anxiety, this stuckness, may actually have to do with a particular person in your life or from your past. This may be someone whose energy has caused you to feel stuck or almost as though you couldn't fully move forward with your life. I'm hearing echo chamber. It's almost like you feel as though you're in an echo chamber with this person metaphorically, where things are repeatedly happening over and over again. And it's almost as though you felt stuck in some kind of loop and unable to break out of this loop or pattern. Now, I will say that right as I was describing this loop that you're in, my guides showed me a spiral staircase, and this has actually come up in recent readings as well. But whenever I see this imagery to me, it indicates that your human self feels as though you're going in circles, but your higher self knows you're actually going up. Meaning, you are upgrading energetically, vibrationally. You are being upgraded, and yet to the conscious human mind, it actually feels like walking up that spiral staircase, like you're just going in circles. From a 2D perspective, if you were to draw that spiral staircase, you might just draw a circle after circle after circle. But if you were able to see it in a different dimension, you would be able to see that it's actually a staircase, that it's actually leading upwards. And that's almost what I'm getting from someone's guides, is to allow yourself to believe that this situation that feels stuck, that feels as though it's spiralling, could be seen from a different dimensional perspective, in that, in actuality, you may actually be going through an upgrade, rather than walking in a circle. Again, the key here is all of this is happening extremely automatically, but because it's taking place at the subconscious level and what all of this reprogramming, which is essentially a deprogramming of the false self that was picked up by society's limiting beliefs and idea systems. This deconstruction of the false self, which is allowing more of the true self to begin vibrating in a very solid way, is preparing you vibrationally to step into a powerful next phase of your life that perhaps you've felt in process of for quite some time. In fact, it may be even slightly frustrating to hear someone say that because you've almost felt this new beginning right within your reach for so long. Now you can feel yourself entering into this new era, but oftentimes there is such an intense loneliness with community reversed. There are also feelings of doubt and uncertainty or high levels of emotionality that might crop up from time to time in that 4D space where you are still kind of in between the 3D and the 5D. From Divine Muscular, 